The new Netflix series, Supercell, is making an impact in raising awareness about sickle cell disease. By incorporating a storyline that features characters living with sickle cell, the series brings the challenges and realities of the disease into mainstream entertainment. Supercell was created by rap man Andrew Onwubolu, who is known for his 2018 short film, Shiro Story, and his 2019 crime thriller, Blue Story. The series is a unique take on the superhero genre, set in the UK and centered around an all-black cast. This representation educates viewers about the genetic disorder and fosters empathy and understanding. The show's narrative highlights the daily struggles and medical crises faced by sickle cell patients, emphasizing the importance of medical advancements and support for affected individuals. Supercell thus plays a crucial role in bringing attention to this often overlooked condition, helping to destigmatize it and encouraging dialogue and support within the wider community. Sickle cell disease is a name that carries weight, a whisper of struggle, a testament to human resilience. This condition is more than just a medical term. It represents a journey of endurance and courage for those who live with it every day. This inherited blood disorder, affecting millions globally, is a stark reminder of life's fragility. It transcends borders and cultures, touching lives in every corner of the world. Sickle cell disease is an inherited condition that primarily affects individuals of African descent. However, it also appears in Hispanic, Middle Eastern, and Mediterranean populations. The disease occurs when a person inherits two sickle cell genes, one from each parent. Genes come in pairs. You inherit one set from your mother and one set from your father. To be born with sickle cell disease, a child has to inherit a copy of the sickle cell gene from both their parents. This usually happens when both parents are carriers of the sickle cell gene, also known as having the sickle cell trait. Or it can happen when one parent has sickle cell disease and the other is a carrier of it. While carriers typically do not exhibit symptoms of the disease, they can pass the gene to their offspring. According to the Sickle Cell Society, approximately 17,500 people in the UK have sickle cell disorder. In America, approximately 100,000 Americans live with sickle cell disease, and millions globally carry the trait. The likelihood of inheriting the disease increases if both parents carry the sickle cell trait. The hallmark of sickle cell disease is the abnormal shape of red blood cells. Normally round and flexible, in sickle cell disease, these cells become rigid and crescent-shaped, resembling a sickle. This distortion impedes their ability to navigate through blood vessels, leading to blockages and subsequent pain crises. Pain crises, also known as vaso-occlusive crises, are sudden episodes of severe pain. These can occur anywhere in the body, but most commonly affect the chest, joints, and lower back. The pain can be so intense that it requires hospitalization and strong painkillers. Beyond pain, sickle cell disease can lead to numerous complications. Chronic anemia, caused by the rapid breakdown of misshapen red blood cells, leaves patients tired and prone to infections. Other complications include acute chest syndrome, stroke, organ damage, and a heightened risk of severe infections due to spleen dysfunction. Repeated crises and complications often lead to hospitalizations, disrupting education, employment, and social life. Living with sickle cell disease is a constant balancing act, a negotiation between managing symptoms and striving for normalcy. Managing sickle cell disease requires a comprehensive approach. Pain management is a cornerstone of treatment, often involving a combination of over-the-counter pain relievers and prescription medication during severe crises. Hydration and oxygen therapy are also crucial as they help alleviate symptoms and improve oxygen delivery to tissues. Blood transfusions are another common intervention. By increasing the number of normal red blood cells, Transfusions can reduce the frequency of pain crises and other complications. However, they come with risks, 
including iron overload and aloe immunization, where the body attacks the donated blood cells. Hydroxyurea, a medication that stimulates the production of fetal hemoglobin, has shown promise in reducing the frequency of pain crises and the need for transfusions. Bone marrow or stem cell transplants offer a potential cure for some patients, but these procedures are risky and only suitable for some. Despite the challenges, recent years have seen promising advancements in treating sickle cell disease. Gene therapy, a cutting edge approach, aims to correct the genetic defect at its source. Early clinical trials have shown that this technique can effectively reduce or even eliminate symptoms in some patients. Additionally, new medications are being developed and tested. Voxeloder works by preventing red blood cells from sickling, thus reducing anemia. Research continues to push the boundaries, with scientists exploring various avenues to improve the quality of life for those with sickle cell disease. These efforts are driven by a combination of government funding, advocacy by patient organizations, and the dedication of researchers around the world. In Supercell, we witness the pain and trauma caused by the disease but we also see people whose parents have sickle cell or the sickle cell trait develop amazing powers. It's an uplifting way to bring attention to this chronic disease. Living with sickle cell disease is a relentless battle against pain and complications, but it is also a story of resilience and hope. Families and communities affected by the disease show remarkable strength, supporting each other through the darkest moments and celebrating each small victory. As medical science progresses, there is growing optimism that new treatments and possibly a cure will transform the lives of those with sickle cell disease. Until then, raising awareness and fostering empathy remains crucial. It is a collective effort honoring the bravery of those living with sickle cell disease and reinforces the commitment to finding lasting solutions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button and comment down below. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe.